Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. As you can see, a little cloudy, but it stopped raining not too long ago, so we're all good now. This is video four in the series of movement. Uh, this one is going to be on dynamic movement and why is it important? Well, <clears throat> dynamic movement, so if our threat is the white outline target, um, making distance between a threat is ideal. It is best case scenario because distance is a safety net essentially. However, just moving straight back doesn't necessarily mean safety. All it takes is one lucky shot and it's not that difficult to hit a moving target moving in one direction, either forward or moving back. So, <clears throat> the idea of moving in a, actually it is raining right now, dang it, all right, moving in a off, kind of the main line, it's called off the X, but out of the line of fire is ideal. So not just moving one or two steps, but actually getting far back at a uh, pretty uh, different angle versus just straight back or off to the side. You do want to make distance because as I said, distance is um, safety. However, the situation dis dictates sometimes all you have to do, sometimes all you can do is move straight back or sometimes you have to move forward. But this is just another tool for the toolbox. So what I'm about to do is a drill from Mike Pannone of CTT Solution. Fantastic instructor. Um, I look forward to training under him one day. All right, so this drill, you're going to start with the hands on a no-shoot target. Usually he will also have no shoot targets off to the side. Actually, that's a box only, but we're going to work with this. No shoot target, hands on uh, the no shoot target, and you're going to pick a side. And you're going to move back at a dynamic uh, angle. And then you're going to switch sides to the different side, to the opposite side, further increasing your distance between the target. All right. <clears throat> this is the first time I've run this, so let's give it a try. Stand by. All right. Kind of threw a couple shots out. This is definitely something I need to work on. So. That is the idea behind dynamic movement, moving in a uh, angle that's not stepping to the side or straight back. Give this one a try if you can. I'll see you next time.